Now, FHI 360 is committed to ensuring access to quality health services wherever people choose to seek care. It does this by building integrated systems for people, not diseases, that offers a no wrong door approach focused on meeting people where they are. The organisation also addresses respiratory health challenges, especially those related to TB, by developing innovative solutions that can be replicated and scaled. Well, to find out about these solutions and this no wrong door approach, I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Dr. Robert Makumbi, Director of TB Programmes at FHI360. Welcome to the programme. Thank you, Nadine. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, it's good to have you here, actually. And obviously, the COVID-19 pandemic mm -hmm. demanded the creation of separate parallel systems right. for patients with respiratory conditions. Right. I know I'm one of those. Mm -hmm. um, while initially necessary and successful, this siloed approach has yeah. proved unsustainable, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. So how do we actually move forward from here? Great question. Thank you, Nadine. So, you know, a person with, with a cough doesn't often know what is the cause of the cough. And to try and seek care sometimes, especially in the COVID-19 pandemic, it became a challenge, you know, with the issues that we heard, uh, you know, around stigma and all those kind of things as well. So we believe at FHI 360 that an integrated approach helps us to address a person as a person, not as a disease. And we see that as, a, as an important mindset to actually get into people where they are, whatever they are, whenever they are, so that when they seek care, they can get it. We know that WHO has talked about, uh, you know, integrated uh, approaches to health, and this is something that we are actively working towards supporting. And talking about integration, and I mentioned about the no wrong door approach. Mm -hmm. So how can national health systems actually effectively implement what is a, what is a people-centered approach to respiratory care? Right. So what can happen with national problems, what they can look at is to say, where are people? Where do they need to seek care? What are some of the barriers that they can meet in terms, in terms of overcoming that? So in our wrong door approach says to a person or to a community, where are you? Where are your needs when it comes to a cough? Because somebody does not understand the pathophysiology, the reasons for their cough, uh, what they may need to do when they go to a facility, which door should they approach? And really a door is an entry point towards um, care. So we think we need to have the skills that the staff must possess with the spaces and the, and the systems to make sure that this is possible at every point of contact that people have uh, with the healthcare system. And in terms of the programmatic approach solutions, mm -hmm. Can they be replicated and scaled to address respiratory health challenges in other regions or countries? Indeed, indeed. So one of the things that came out of the COVID-19 pandemic is we learned that actually it was possible to pivot uh, on many systems and to actually drop on the resources, the relationships and also the research that is there. So with FHI 360, we are working in several countries uh, to address the TB burden. And one of them is in Vietnam, where we're using the digital technologies to go out with digital radiology, artificial intelligence, combined with the rapid molecular diagnostics to go to people where they are, screen them for TB, get them to be diagnosed with TB and put on treatment. In Mozambique, we are also working with local NGOs to partner to go into communities with outreaches, not only to screen for respiratory diseases, but also for non-communicable diseases that can also come together, uh, together with respiratory diseases. Programs around the world, they are uh, implementing this and some of them are being replicated. And we believe it's an approach that can really ensure equitable access to quality healthcare service. Absolutely fascinating. I could talk to you for hours, but time has got the better of us. Thank you so much for joining us so much, on Union Live. Yeah, that was Dr. Robert Makumbi, Director of TV Programmes at FHI 360. Thanks for joining us here on Union Live and do stay with us.